Okay, there's a very important thing that we didn't talk about in um, our contour definitions, and that was cut parameters. We kind of skipped over that one. We just went to depth of cuts and below. But cut parameters are critical in determining how the contour is cut out. Realize that we chose the contours, and we chose a clockwise direction on each of those contours. If you didn't remember that, that's okay, but we, we did chose a, a clockwise direction for the two slots and the two access holes that we chose before. Now, realize if we turned the cutter compensation to off, that would mean that the bit would follow the line. You see right here, the bit would actually follow the contour that we actually chose. And sometimes you want that for specific engraving and things like that. But in this case, if the end mill follows that line, it's going to cut a larger slot than what we actually want. And let me show you that right now. So if I just go OK, and I go over here to verify the selected operations. And one thing I didn't do, notice that this is a dirty operation, so I need to regenerate it here. And then I go um, to verify that operation and hit play. Notice we have a little issue, and the issue is um, the slots are too big because the slots had no compensation and the bit just followed the line. And since we're dealing with a quarter inch bit, the width of the slot on either side is an eighth of an inch too wide. So in fact, the slot is a quarter inch wider than what we want it to be. And so that's not what we want. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back here to parameters. Notice we have a couple of things here. This was the drill operation. And here are the things for the drill operation, the different parts of the drill operation. And here is the contour operation here. We're going to go to the parameters of that operation. We're going to go back to cut parameters. And we're going to change this. Since it was moving clockwise, and we're doing an inside contour here, we want to be on the right side of the line. Notice we can't have the compensation off. We go back to computer compensation. So now we're on the right side of the line. So you can see the bit here. Here's the line. As we're going counter, as we're going clockwise, the bit always stays on the right side of the line, thus making the contour the right size. And so if we hit check mark here, we now have a dirty operation because we've changed something. So now we go here and we generate, regenerate all dirty operations, and then we'll verify that. And I'll hit play. And notice that looks a lot more reasonable. And in fact, we can look at the whole thing by clicking here. And that's exactly what we want. And so I'm going to say, OK, we're, we're good there. And so if you want to see both of them, what you can do is both the operations, the drill and the contour operation, you can go here and say, select all operations. and I don't need to regenerate them. If any of them were dirty, then I could regenerate all the operations. And then we go over here to verify selected operations. And we hit play. And we do the drilling. And then we do the contour. The next thing that we want to do is now do the contour for the bearing line. 